Um, day to day for Tyreek, uh, Connor Williams out for the season, ACL. Jorn. Yeah. Thanks. You know, uh, like, you don't directly replace it um, necessarily, um, and, I, and I'd love to take the time right now to s- speak on, you know, the, the regard um, that – this team has for Connor Williams and what he was doing this year, um, playing some excellent ball. Um, his his journey, um, you know, position switching and really f- finding some good footing. Um, you know, you don't necessarily replace that directly. Um, however, you, you also prepare um, a lot uh, for contingencies for these types of scenarios. Um, typically, um, they, you know, we, we've been as prepared and, 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 you know, hats have, hats have gone off to the offensive line and, and, uh, Butch and, uh, Frank Smith and, um, just everybody for how we've been able to sustain, um, multiple lineup changes, you know, uh, and then at some point, um, it, you know, it, it, it gets a little challenging on, on everyone when it, when you start talking about your um, double digits and, and people participating on your team. Um, but along those way, along that journey, um, guys get much more equipped to do it. Guys start playing better at those positions. Um, we will, uh, you know, I thought, um, you know, L- L- Liam's had a really cool season to me because he's – gone in a position, um, whether it's right guard, left guard, center, and he's, he's played, um, well enough for us to win. And the next week he comes back and plays even better. Um, that momentum, uh, we'll be counting on, uh, along, along those lines. We'll, um, you know, we, you might see us, uh, add add somebody here in the near future at some point and then um you know we've been working uh lester cotton all year at center as well so the, those are the types of things that teams all around the league are doing um at some point during the season at various positions it's part of football so you get tested in multitude of ways whether that's um mind body or spirit and uh that's um, I'm, I'm confident in the way that we'll progress with that, uh, in his loss. Yeah. You know, um, you, you just have to be realistic. It's, it's not just blind faith, it's earned faith. So when guys are in positions that I'm, that I'm used to them being in, as well as I know their matchups and I know, and the defensive presentation, how they're stressed, um, there's, you know, multitude of times it doesn't change anything at all just because of the inherent deliberate reps that we've observed. Then there's also situations where you know that um, this guy or that guy hasn't um, been in this scenario or hasn't worked with this person, and um, the the various defensive presentations um, that can that can change things a little bit. Uh, yesterday, um, you know, there was there was some there was probably uh, a couple directions that, you know, I felt um, would be most prudent and the the most responsible um, as a result for, you know, uh, this particular circumstance. Um, not out of lack of faith, but just out of being fair to uh, you're competing against an opponent that's practiced what they're doing. Um, how, uh, what what strain does it put in your offense? So it do, it does adjust things. Um, in certain situations, and um, I think yesterday did a, uh, to a degree a little bit, um, uh, just because of the exact formula. But uh, you know that's part of that's part of football. It, you're assessing matchups and deciding a multitude of things based upon those matchups, um, and yeah, it it makes it uh, it it makes it a a little more challenging, but nothing that um, that you shouldn't be able to handle. Yeah, I think um the uh the um Armstead is more conceivable. We'll we'll be day to day with him. Um and 
you know, it's part of the, just knowing um, what type of game that's going to be and then, you know, the uh, games ahead, specifically one with a short week. Um, you know, I think it made it more difficult to, to play um, Armstead last night. I think it, Rob's proving to be a little more week-to-week-like um, so that uh, I, I wouldn't... Um, I, I would be very pleasantly surprised if he if Rob was available for the Jets, but I'm not. Again, I'm I'm not gonna say that he can't, but that'd be more of a pleasant surprise. Okay, uh, Deshaun Elliott um, uh, cleared um, the uh, UNC's uh, their their assessment during the game. However, during uh, later on in the game. Um, you know, in communication with our training staff, he uh, reported some verbal symptoms, um, and so it was now the uh, protocol, and concussion protocol, um, because once once he once he verbal he verbalized some symptoms, we just uh, uh, immediately took him out. Then um, Liam Eichenberg came out of the game with some, you know, he, he uh, got bumped and bruised. Um, along the journey in the game so he fought through it really well it was very very um impressed with his uh toughness but it's just um the football bumps and bruises is the best way to put it and didn't you say someone else uh, Brandon Jones. um yeah brandon jones um he he had some uh uh stitches on an open wound um but he he should be he should be good um, no, I, I think that, you know, I, I think that is kind of inherent, um, at, le- at least for me as a play caller, as you're trying to distribute the ball. Um, there are times where there's a glutton of opportunities that go um, Tyreek's way. Generally, that's momentum-based, um, you know, but there's a – we're, we're uh, – collectively, we're our strongest when you have to worry about everyone. So there's there's always that type of um, mindset and wanting to involve people, um, and then you know you just don't fight uh, how the game presents a lot of times. Um, and when he's he's a hot hand, just like when um, Jalen's a hot hand, uh, similar things happen. I, I know there's um, I can't remember which week it was. Maybe it was three weeks ago against Vegas, but. People attributed Tyreek being out to Waddle getting successive targets. Um, it really wasn't the case. It was that uh, you know you're you're paying attention at a as a play caller um, to what's happening on the field with a clear mind, with an idea of what you're going to go to. But then when um, people noticeably, um, you you can feel the momentum of a certain moment or a drive or whatever. You try to um, empower the offense by getting the ball in those guys hands but that's always something that you're trying to distribute the ball um to uh to various guys i think um and uh you know when you're one of the best players in the national football league regardless of positions you're always going to get your opportunities um but it's important for us to always make sure players um at players are involved in their strength whatever that is um and sometimes a guy's strength is, uh, you know, being at the point of attack, um, dis- uh, you know, removing defenders from the point of attack. Like, uh, you know, Alec Ingold, for instance, is very involved in every game um, and doesn't get a ton of targets, but is one of the reasons other people get successful targets, um, whether that be a clean pocket or um, uh, identification on how to, how to run a tricky route from the backfield or whatever. Same thing with, like, Durham Smythe. Uh, but for the most part, we try to distribute the ball because that's the best way to um, keep the defense on their heels. Yeah, I mean, I think he he provides, uh, you know, everybody has a different skill set, and you're kind of playing to the – you're letting the week progress. You have different opportunities, and the way the way that guys play out during the week kind of dictate dictates those terms. I think some of the – um, opportunities that uh, that you know Chase would have 
gotten. I think, um, you know, we're kind of won during the week uh, by Cedric Wilson a little bit. Um, but, you know, we have we have that up every week, and he's in, in the conversation for sure. Um, but you're also, a set, you know, you're not predetermining, um, all right, well, I, I the – the gods have spoken to me. You will make the best play. You know, you kind of put it in their hands. And um, in our receiver room particularly, there are several guys that can make plays. So um, uh, on top of Tyreek and Waddle. So we, we, we try to be equitable during the week and let those guys um, earn those ops and see where they can have advantages. There, there was some, we didn't get to them. There was, um, there was uh, some... Uh, plays featured for for Chase in the regular field and in the red zone, um, but those were uh, we, we didn't end up getting to those. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm optimistic about Tyreek in general. I know if there's a will, there's a way. He, um, you know, it's a little early to uh, be that confident either way. You know, that was a painful, um, painful ankle that that he. Uh, took the time to kind of warm up work and get to a point where he could feel like he could provide what we need him to provide. Um, I, he's, he's, um, he's given me only reason to, um, be confident in his ability, but I, until he flat out tells me, um, that there's, uh, no doubt that he's going to play, you know, I'll, there's you always have to plan for for everything and I haven't talked to him today so so it's all depending on the time of the game and what's going on um, but really there's a trifecta of communication between myself um, Kyle and Wes Welker and Wes Welker's on the headset so um, a lot of times I'm just pacing and he'll be talking to me and um, you know there was uh, points in the game he, he was he doesn't want to lead us um, astray, so he's, you know, this particular injury, um, it was, he was just trying to, you know, move it enough t- to get a feel for how it would be like going full speed, but not, um, aggravated even more, and was just kind of being cautious, walking back and forth, and it was, um, pretty stiff on him, and then he finally got it to a place, uh, where he could go, and, um, sometimes those happen at the last second. Uh, and, uh, you know, generally that's like communicated to me, um, right before the play when it is that, uh, last second, other times that it's like, all right, well, um, next series or, um, don't have them from this series. So there's just a constant co- communication that, um, goes on with, with a lot of players, but specifically, um, uh, guys like that. Oh yeah. Someone came in. Well, and so there's there's pros and cons for every type of um, uh, invention that that comes within within our game. We have this, um, I, th- I think, a very very um, productive system of replay assist that can happen live speed that can make sure calls are right. Um, you know, and and with that um, being a, a newer system. Uh, and with s- stars having to align, um, like in those type of situations, it can be pretty tricky. Um, and, and I believe that's what happened, uh, because it was, you know, you go off the, um, signal of the ref- referee, um, or the linesman. And so you're thinking it was a stopped clock and then out of nowhere, it's, oh, it's a running clock. Oh yeah. And it happens to. Um, be fourth down you know those can kind of be tricky but that's not um it's not because uh of anyone being short-sighted it's because there's a i i can totally understand the reason for the for the system and that is a little tricky that i you know just not totally used to um when something like that happens uh you know that's uh i i can promise you this every every time someone's being tackled right around um, out of bounds in a two minute situation. I, I, that, that's a learned scenario that I won't keep my eyes off that person re- uh, regardless of what, 
um, the situation is because that is that is tricky. Um, but we also have uh, systems where we can go on the line of scrimmage immediately. Um, it, it wasn't, uh, yeah, it's not ideal, but I'm, I can understand why it happened. Bond's knee was down in bounds. So um, get the first down or don't be out of bounds. Well, I just um, have, haven't spoke with them today. We're on a short work week, and they um, uh, their main focus today was um, regen, and um, the, the players kind of um, met on their own. But, you know, last night and today, um, you know, kind of my message is um, and will be um, when, when I get in front of again is that there's – especially games like that there is a tangible amount of emotion that is derived from that the way the game happened um the the you know 14 point deficit that's closed in 4 minutes um you know all the different opportunities uh that that's emotionally um i don't know if you if you'd call it like uh it, it can really just really take over. It, you wait, you go to bed with an emotion, you wake up with emotion. And I understand that, and I think that's um, very valid for a bunch of people that care, just like you know, I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of people were pretty irritated last night that are fans that woke up the same way. Um, having said that, the objective, the, the main point, is that you have to take that emotion, and at some point you have to put it over here, and then you have to look at what actually happened in the game so that the point is to learn from it and get better. The point is to use it at some, um, in some way, shape, or form moving forward. We have to. That, and we, thus far this season, um, we have done a good job of out of the 13 ops. We've won nine of them. Four of we lost in the previous three. Um, I felt like we got better from it. That will be a hundred percent what we will be um, focusing on together as a team and just moving forward because this is what I see: removing the emotion. There was um, let's let's call it seventy plays um, ar- arbitrarily. This is uh, maybe fifty of them were I was really really happy about. They're prepared and they were. Um, good team, defense, offense, or special teams. Then 30 of those, people have to recognize that probably we aren't making at the beginning of the season. Though That's really good stuff. That being said, there's some really bad stuff, really bad stuff. Like, you know, you, you get in a situation where you're the, you're the first team to lose um, – a game up by 14 in the last three to four minutes since like 2017. Yeah, that's what it is. And you don't run away from it. You don't say, oh, everything's all good. No, the the point um, of this game, which you're trying to accomplish things that are very hard that everyone else is trying to accomplish, is you have to be willing to look at the hard things and um, and make sure they don't define you, make sure that you um, – you, you utilize that opportunity. That adversity is real, and it either is what you are, or what is the reason you become something else. And and that that I think is a is something they're used to. But there's not a finer example, um, especially like in the last last month. Um, well, we we've said a ton. We want to play our best football in December. Um, that game was in December, and that was not our best football. Well, we have, um, what, two to three more games in December um, than one in January promised to us. Well, we better utilize all the things that we um, absolutely do not want to um, relive in the other games. Um, then it's purposeful. Then um, then it's not you're not defined as that you've used it to define who you're going to be. And that's, um, it's, it's not easy, but who said anything that any of our goals are easy. So, um, 
I'm very motivated for uh, the the team to work through, um, you know, undesirable uh, circumstances to um, achieve their best selves and, and our best version of the team. And that takes work. That takes 100% commitment from everyone. Um, and it's not for everybody, but what we're trying to do um, isn't anyway. No, the um, I wouldn't say emotional. I'm a I'm 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 excited for um, the work in front of us. So I guess I'm convicted that if if it's coming across as emotion, um, I'm just generally an emotional guy. Um, but there's conviction in in what I see from from that um, from that uh, tape from the game yesterday and. Um, I, I think that uh, it's, it's as clear as um, day to me on, on what needs to be done with regard to handling something um, like, like a disappointment like that. I don't think um, uh, the, the biggest thing is we have um, you have to work through all that stuff, get better from it, then focus on the Jets. And um, it, is, it is that simple and easy, um, but very hard to do in practice. And that's kind of the the direction I'm going, um, you know, if you're gonna ask me not to be emotional, you're gonna have to ask me not to be me at any day because you can get. I mean, you've been there. You say the right topic, and I'll, I'll go to half tears in a heartbeat. It's not a big deal. So, um, uh, no, I'm pumped for the work week and um, the the gains that our team can make. Cool.